Hello everybody, this is Grim here. Um, I am about to start a, a second Let's Play for Civilization V, uh, complete with the Brave New World and Gods and Kings expansions. Um, I'm going to be starting over from the beginning because the first time that I put this up, uh, I had no mic. And the reason I had no mic is because it wasn't actually plugged in. And yeah, that was my bad. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start all the way over from the beginning. And um, I'm going to walk you through how, uh, how the game looks and how you go about setting up your own game should you choose to get involved in Civ in the future. Um, if you already know how to do all of that and you just want to see me play, I would go ahead and skip to uh, the number two for the Let's Play, in which I will actually be beginning my game. So, uh, that being said, let's go ahead and do a nice slow walkthrough of the, the very, very beginning. Um, this is the screen that you come to after you click the OK button. Um, when you first load up the game, it will ask you, or, well, it'll tell you that, hey, online interactions are not, uh, subject to the rating system that they, uh, that, uh, the SRB does. So, uh, after you click OK, this screen will pop up and... What you can uh, see here is that there is a single player, multiplayer, um, mods. This is specifically for any um, mods that you can get through the Steam community or other communities. Um, options such as your audio, your visual, you know, all that other fun stuff. Other options and of course DLC. Um, we're not going to be messing with any of this stuff down here for, for this particular playthrough. Um, we're just going gonna to go with single player. So go ahead and click that, and then uh, this comes up. Um, there's the play now, the setup, load game, scenarios, and tutorial. Um, the tutorial is really cool if this is like the first time that you've played Civ, or even the first time that you're playing like a strategy turn-based sort of game. Uh, scenarios are very specific scenarios, like hey, do you want to play as Washington trying to overtake the world? Because yeah, we need that scenario. Um, load game. If uh, you already have a previous save, set up and play now. If you hover over the play now, the game actually does this really cool thing where it tells you exactly what your current setup is. But um, I'm going to go ahead and click set up just so you can see what it looks like. Um, here is here's the basic. Um, very top is your leader, the leader that you choose. If you click that, you can um, select a random leader if you're feeling snazzy. Um, or you can go through every single one of these happy little leaders here. Um, your leaders may be different depending on the, uh, the DLC that you have. Um, I have, I think, all the DLC that you can get for Civ V, so I should have, like, all the available leaders. But, um, for this particular game, we are going with, uh, Maria Teresa. There she is. Um, she has the diplomatic marriage ability. Um, she can spend a certain amount of gold to annex or puppet a city-state that's been her ally for five turns. This is really cool if you don't want to, like, completely obliterate all the city-states and, uh, you know, sack them and raise them to the ground and all that other happy stuff. Um, she also gets hussars. They're a, a mounted unit that's really cool to have. A coffee house and, uh... That's, that's what her little symbol looks like. So, um, yeah, we're gonna go with her. Um, your map type is something else that you can pick. You can go with random. By the way, random can get really random. It makes no sense. Uh, continents, which is what I prefer, because you have, like, these really big, large masses of land, huge tracts of land, and, uh, smaller islands. Um, Pangea, which, you know, one great big landmass, it's great if you want to have everybody trying to kill you at the very beginning of the game. Um, Archipelagios, which, lots of islands. Fractal, yeah, that's, that's always weird. Or, if you want to actually use Earth. And there are some additionals, but we're, we're not going to mess with any of that right now, we're just going to go with some continents. Something nice and simple. Um, your map size is, uh, for me, set up at standard. Um, this is where you can actually choose how many players, both human or PC, depending if you're doing multiplayer or not. Um, if you just want to duel somebody, have like very, very little, 
you know, so on and so forth. Um, I go with standard, which is eight players in 16 city-states. Um, right now we have it on the Warlord or Easy setting. Um, despite having played, oh gosh, uh, oh, I think the last time I checked, I had something like 400 hours logged in under Civ because, yeah, that's how I roll. Um, but I still like playing under the easy setting uh, because I play for fun, not so that I can cry about how terrible I am later. Um, I'm also keeping the game pace at standard, but if you want to mess with that, you know, it, it basically how long do you want the game to be? Um, I would say that quick is normally an hour to two hours worth of gameplay, um, going up by increments of uh, four to ten hours each. So, we're going to stick with standard. This is a very, very basic, very, very simple game. Cool? Cool. Alright, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this first really, really simple introduction video here. Um, join me with my next one, where I will actually start playing the game.